Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. It's a great time for Volvo cars. Last year, we introduced the all-new XC90 here at the LA Auto Show. At the same time, we promised a turnaround in the United States. It was to be led by new products, a focus on our retailer network, increased marketing spend, and last but not least, a factory in South Carolina. We have indeed started the turnaround. Ten months of consecutive growth, up to 12.5%, with October being the best month since 2008. Our top seller, the XC60, has increased sales by 32% this year. This means we will grow sales from last year's 57,000 cars to around 70,000 units this year. Our goal is to reach 100,000 cars as soon as possible because we, below, we believe that's where Volvo belongs. In only five years, we have totally transformed Volvo cars. In 2010, we were able to start with a clean sheet of paper. Now, a new generation of models is evolving with unique personalities. XC90 being the first of many to come. <coughs> On Monday, it won a great award, Motor Trends SUV of the Year. We are so... We are so very proud, especially as our first generation XC90 was awarded with the same prize. And it seems that once again, Volvo has managed to redefine the SUV segment. When we close the year, we expect to have sold 80,000 XC90s worldwide, including 17,000 cars here in the United States. That makes the U.S. Volvo's biggest market for the XC90. Our smaller size enables us to make rapid decisions. We are on the move and we have no intention of slowing down. One unique example is the four-seat XC90 Excellence. A thoughtful and elegant car for those seeking the ultimate in space and luxury. It will arrive next summer in the United States. On the stand today, though, we have another unique variant, the XC90 Excellence Child Seat Concept. It's our idea of luxury for your baby, and we have it here at the stand today. People-centric innovations are everywhere in Volvo cars. <laughs> Volvo's Vision 2020 states that no one should be killed or seriously injured in the new Volvo car. Autonomous driving is an essential element of that vision. Why? Because it is addressing all the big challenges we as an automotive company face. Improve traffic safety limit the environmental footprint, and solve the increasing problem with traffic congestion. We will have, as Volvo Cars, 100 fully autonomous vehicles in consumer hands starting at the end of 2017. And we are so confident that Volvo will accept full liability for our cars when driven in autonomous mode. Every day, Americans spend an average of 26 minutes commuting each way. In many congested cities, like here in LA, the commute is often, is often much, much longer. Do you agree? Isn't that a waste of time? And actually, it's really the opposite of the freedom cars are supposed to be all about. So, we have been rethinking the daily commute. We want to redefine what you can do with your time in a car once 
There is a choice to go autonomous. Cars have always been a symbol of freedom. They help us to explore. They connect us. They provide us with a home between here and there. Today, this freedom is being challenged. Increasing congestion and the demands of the modern world leave us feeling trapped and frustrated by the time we've lost. At Volvo, we believe autonomous driving will recapture this freedom. By providing people with a choice to drive or delegate driving to the car, we give them control of their time and open a new world of possibilities. The freedom to choose how every moment in the car is spent. Welcome, Tisha Johnson, Senior Design Director, Volvo Monitoring and Concept Center. For Volvo, autonomous driving is not science fiction. It's really about people. In our research, we found that people are looking for the option to drive when they want to, but also read, consume media, work on their next big idea, or simply relax when in autonomous drive. With a reconfigurable interior, we can allow drivers to reclaim their time behind the wheel and make that time meaningful. That's why Volvo Concept 26 provides three interior configurations, drive, create, and relax. So let's take a deeper look at these three modes. Drivers can choose a route based on the amount of autonomous driving time available, and this allows people to maximize their me time. To enter autonomous mode, the driver will hold the steering wheel paddles and engage the system. A countdown then begins, letting the driver know how much time he has until he needs to re-engage with the car. And this countdown is really important because it gives the driver an opportunity to plan how he uses his time. Now that he's delegated driving in the car, he can select create mode. And this allows for a variety of configurations for the seat, table, and screens, enabling the driver to complete a range of activities. The steering wheel moves away, closer to the dashboard, and the seat pushes back with the tablet screen always in reach, and a 25-inch screen is unveiled. Concept 26 can give you content tailored to your personal needs using predictive technology. Sometimes, the greatest luxury of all is simply to relax and enjoy the ride. And you can accomplish this with the relax mode, which transforms the seat into a comfortable reclining position. The Concept 26 seat is a revolutionary design with patented mechanisms that cradle the driver in all modes, providing comfort and confidence that's not available in any seat currently on the market. The user interface is always communicating with the driver about actions the car is going to take, such as passing another vehicle. So the driver always feels in control, and this is a very important element in establishing trust with the system. <laughs> so the driver has a choice over when they can retake control of the car. The drive mode provides the exciting and dynamic driving experience luxury customers expect. He can re-engage the car at any time when in relax mode or create mode by selecting drive from the tablet interface. 
If he chooses to use all of the available autonomous time, the car will notify him that he needs to take back control of the wheel. In preparation for that, the interior will transform into drive mode and he can retake control by holding both panels again until the transition is complete. At Volvo, we want to return the time lost in commutes to the driver and give freedom to choose when and how they can use that time. With this approach, we can use today's technologies and platforms to solve the most broken part of the driving experience, sitting in congested traffic. Soon, autonomous driving will be a part of people's lives. At Volvo, we embrace how people want to lead life, and we find solutions that are intuitive, safe, and beautiful. That's Volvo's Concept 26. Thank you. Thank you for attending the 2015 Volvo Press Conference. We now welcome Lex Kersemakers and Tisha Johnson to the stage for photos. Press materials are available in our newsroom, www.media.volvocars.com.